All right, boys and girls, welcome back for today's art project. Um, you are going to need some styrofoam. I saved this. Um, you can also use a to-go to container, anything that's made of styrofoam. Um, hopefully your parents can help you find something to use for this. Um, a ballpoint pen, something with that pointy end, um, and some markers again. You will also need your spray bottle full of water. Um, we'll set that aside for now. Now that I have all of my materials collected, um, we can get started. Sorry, my dogs were barking there. Kind of loud mouth sometimes. Um, also, you're going to need a piece of paper. Any size paper will do. Um, here's that. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to be making a printing plate using styrofoam. Um, you are going to then use your pen to draw into that styrofoam pressing hard. Um, and you can draw anything you want on your styrofoam. I would say keep it simple um, and no words today just because if you print and you put words on a printing plate, they actually have to be reversed. So it gets a little tricky. So let's just do images. Um, some really great things that you could be inspired by are nature. So maybe some flowers, some leaves. Um, you could use sports gear, maybe some footballs or um, whatever interests you, uh, maybe some dogs. I might draw a dog face today. Um, but you can draw whatever you like on your styrofoam plate using your pen. So let's do that now. I'm going to draw a dog face similar to the one that we did the other day. So I'm going to start with that upside down triangle. And do you notice how I'm going back and forth over my lines? Um, that's going to help imprint or draw on our styrofoam. Um, so I'm then go, I drew his little nose first. Here's my dog's eyes. If you color things in, it'll indent it a little more. I'm going to do another half circle for the dog's. Um, face, some ears, kind of like a peanut shape. Okay, maybe I'm going to draw a dog paw over here. I'm not going to draw the whole dog's body today. It's going to be more of a floating dog head, but that's okay. Um, and whatever image that you draw on here, you're going to be able to repeat. So these printing plates are great for making cards. I was thinking maybe we could make some cards and send them along to those um, lovely healthcare heroes, anybody in your family that may need a card, either it's a get well soon card or um, I miss you card, or if you want to send your card to a healthcare hero, that would be awesome as well. Um, but I'm just carving in some different designs. I'm going to do some swirlies to fill my plate. If you have a flat piece, it may work better. Um, mine's kind of bumped up, so maybe I'll cut off that part now so I know what part is flat. I forgot to do that, I guess. All right, so here is my printing plate. Now, boys and girls, it is time to start printing. Um, we're going to use those markers similar to our tinfoil prints, and you're going to fill your printing plate with different colors. If you want to use one color, you can, but I'm going to do that tie-dye effect that we did yesterday. Um, we'll see how that works. This is actually a purple marker, if you can believe it. And this one's green. Doesn't even look like it. My document camera, I don't know why, doesn't like to show my true colors. So I'm going to fill my printing plate with lots of different colors. And now I think I'm ready to print. I'm going to set this to the side. I have my paper. I'm going to fold it into a card. Um, the easiest way to do that is to take your paper, fold it in half the hamburger way. Fold it in half, line up those edges, crease it here, fold again. Then, boys and girls, you can fold it again in half, and you have a smaller card that almost is a little thicker. 
So I'm going to get this extra paper out of the way so you can see. Now I have my front of my card. Um, it always opens the way that you would open a book. And I'm going to set this down. I am then going to grab my printing plate and you're going to spritz it with water. You don't want too much water, friends. Um, it will get all over the place. So I spritzed it. Gonna get it ready. Flip it over and press, press, press. Some of my friends have done this before with our jelly prints. Um, this is just a different way to print at home. So I'm pressing, I'm gonna pull it up. Hmm, hard to see on my document camera, but can you see how it came through a little bit? Okay, let's try it again. I think it looks pretty good. If I took my black marker and then added into it a little bit, um, it might be a little bit more vibrant. Um, but maybe I had too much water, so even less water would be better. Just a little squirt. Um, to reprint, boys and girls, all I'm doing is adding more of my markers or my marker ink. Um, that's what's actually giving us that effect is the ink is transferring to our paper. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm just gonna add some ink here quick. Huh. A little squirt. I'm testing my print here on a large piece of paper. If that's what you want to do first, you can do that too. Hmm. All right. This one's a little better. Okay. So once those dry, you can go in and add in your messages. Um, mine's a little bit dry, um, but maybe I'm going to make a thank you card. We're going to open it up and add in that message. Um, you can see it came through a little bit, but we could draw and add in there. Um, again, boys and girls, thanks for following along. If you complete this art challenge, please send it along to your um, classroom teachers, or you can email it to me. I hope you had fun, and I hope you 